Now this one might only be fun for the people on video, but we're at a company called Miraviz, and I'm with David Jang, and we've got two projectors here looking at the same screen, but things are not what they seem. We tell people what they can see here. So hi, Allison. Thanks for visiting us. So our technology uh, is completely new. It allows multiple people to look at the exact same screen, and everybody sees different contents. So if Steve moves to the right, he's going to look through, he's going to stand behind one projector and he's seeing one video, he's watching Toy Story. And then, and then as he moves to behind the other projector, he sees completely different content. And we can have many different perspectives, many different views. So this is not a trick of the projectors themselves, right? These are normal projectors? These are normal projectors and our, our high tech is in the screen. We have millions of optical elements behind the screen. And that controls the, the bounce or the, the light, the photons, to a particular location. So is this like a prism? I mean, is it a gradient like you're seeing it reflected? Yeah. Uh, I'm it, seeing it off one surface and the other person's on one, another one? There's m many layers to this technology. Only four companies in the world can manufacture for us. We have 14 patents, but it's many layers. One layer is kind of like the patent. Another layer controls the, the direction. Another layer it controls the, uh, the, the uh, regular light reflection. Okay. Fernal reflection. So that, that that's one thing. This is a very bright screen. It's yeah. a little weird when you're in the middle because you're watching half of two different shows, right. but two different areas. So you could watch Toy Story while, or your kids could watch Toy Story while you're watching a documentary or something. Uh, you know, highbrow documentary. I'd be over on the Toy Story <laughs> side. But then uh, you mentioned a use case for gamers too. Uh, yes. So this is uh, this screen is about 100 to 200 times brighter than a standard projection screen. So the use case is really increased. Like you can have the lights on. You can see movies outside. With a projector, um, uh, trade shows, trade shows can now uh, can uh, exhibit multiple products at the same time in a limited space. But for gamers, they really love it because now they, when the multiplayer gaming, they uh, they don't they can't screen sheets. Oh, okay, all right, right. Now here's a dumb question: Can you point the projector straight at it? It is pointed straight at it, yes. No, 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 it's at an angle. Oh, oh, yeah, you can move it anywhere. Could you move it right yeah. in the center yeah, and yeah, watch you, one yeah, thing? Yes, it's absolutely. And yeah. that would be much brighter than a normal uh, projection Yes, screen. many times brighter. So is this a real product anytime soon? Oh, you know, it's already on the market. We started uh, beta testing in third quarter. Last quarter, we started selling. Oh, wow. And how much does this cost? So uh, we are here at CES because we're introducing two products. Uh, in, uh, we have the gamer product we introduced last June. Here at CES, we're introducing one home entertainment product. So the projector goes on the table or it's mounted on the ceiling so you can watch movies. And then we also have a screen only now. We are introduced today. A screen only is, gives backward compatibility to any kind of pro to most projectors that you have already have at home. And, and how much is that? Uh, starts at four ninety nine on four hundred ninety nine dollars for the screen, um, and but it, that's a base model, and you can get really large screen. It goes up. We have ninety five inch screens, for example. Okay, very cool. If people want to learn more, where would they go? Uh, Mariviz .com. and that's M I R R A Viz V I Z dot com. Thank you, Allison. Thank you.